Hi, it's Chuck. Tonight's video is about the Greater Phoenix Chamber of Commerce, which is um, involved in the mayor's race that was the topic of my first video. And it seems that the Chamber of Commerce does not want the public to hear a full debate of the candidates. It's uh, going to be aired on Channel 5 this coming week. And the four basic insider candidates are going to be featured, basically three former members of the city council, and a uh, man who's a Republican, so of course the business community wouldn't want to leave out the Republican. But the two ladies who are small businesswomen in their own right, who have qualified with the elections office, gotten the proper signatures, gotten the proper campaign contributions to qualify for the ballot, in the eyes of the Greater Phoenix Chamber of Commerce, they don't qualify to be seen by the public to offer their views on how we might improve the city of Phoenix. So keep in mind that the city of Phoenix has major problems these days with everything, funding, uh, attracting, keeping business, our anti-immigration policy that's gotten national fame. Even though 27 other states have enacted almost identical legislation, they just didn't do it with the hateful fanfare that Arizona did. But um, here are two fresh faces, perhaps with some new ideas that might be good for the city, and the Phoenix Chamber of Commerce does not want you to hear what they have to say. That sounds just plain dirty to me. And I spent some time this afternoon calling a few businesses that are new members of the Phoenix Chamber, asking if they really approve of those kind of dirty tricks, and a couple of them were shocked. And one entity I reached was actually the Phoenix, uh, excuse me, the Arizona Board of Regents. You kind of wonder why does the university need to belong to the Chamber of Commerce in the first place? But um, all of these things puzzle little people like me, and, and uh, I guess the general public doesn't even know that these kinds of things go on. But, uh, and the other shocking thing for me is that Five isn't even our Fox affiliate here. You would expect this kind of thing from Fox on Channel 10 here but not from Channel 5 to take part of a debate that's not really fair. Because if you've got six candidates and you're only hearing out four of them, the public isn't getting a full debate. So the question I pose to you is, why is the Phoenix Chamber afraid for the public to hear all of the candidates in the Phoenix mayor's race? Um, I think this is worthy of interest. And if you're interested, you can look up the Phoenix Chamber of Commerce and, and I'll show you how. I've got them up on my screen right here. And so you see the uh, web page for the Phoenix uh, Chamber of Commerce. Its website is phoenixchamber.com. And we've got it up on the Contact Us page. And so I contacted them and told them that basically the only recourse I have for an organization like theirs is to boycott their members. And that's what I'm encouraging those of you who view this video is to be informed about who belongs to the Greater Phoenix Chamber of Commerce. I don't know if you can read their, their name right there, Greater Phoenix Chamber of Commerce. But this is an organization that is obviously pro-business, but pro-business should not be anti the public. And that's my point. And uh, you can email them like this, but there are also all these faces that you can send uh, in f a contact to. There's Todd Sanders, the president. And here are the rest of his henchmen here. And as you scroll down here, there are 27 different faces here of people that you can contact at the Phoenix Chamber. And I think, gee whiz, there's 27 heads there. That must be close to a million and a half dollars in payroll alone. Uh, one lady I contacted said she was a brand new member and uh, she paid her $700 for membership and didn't want to rock the boat and step on any toes. For, and uh, wind up paying $700 and not getting any help from the chamber. So um, it, it just sounds all really dirty to me. And, and the chamber's uh, kind of been hijacked in recent times by the payday loan companies. And now that they've been put out of business, I don't know who runs them. But uh, it's something that, that the public needs to take an interest in. And that's what my channel is about, is to encourage the public to take an interest. Here's Todd Sanders, president of the Greater Phoenix Chamber of Commerce. So. This is the man who leads the group that is against you and I. And uh, I'll just sign off again for now, but give him a call, email him, let him know that you don't approve of uh, letting the voices of uh, these other candidates be heard. And it's ironic because these two people excluded are small business people. And uh, supposedly that's who the uh, Greater Phoenix Chamber is supposed to help. 
Um, Todd Sanders, I'll give you his phone number right here at 602-495-6460. And uh, the Greater Phoenix uh, general phone number is 602-495-2195. So well, let them know that you think they're uh, kind of like schmucks, maybe. So this is Chuck signing off. Thanks for listening.